Today I have a reformer, Pilates reformer workout for you. If you are new to a Pilates reformer, this is a really great basic classical routine that you can follow. I am working on a balanced body studio reformer. I do have the infinity bar, so if it looks a little different, that's why. Um, so I'm going to walk you through the moves on this machine. Different spring loads, but we'll go through all of that together. If you are familiar with a Pilates reformer, this is a great active recovery workout. It's not going to be too complicated. We're going to work on all areas of the body. We're going to get that forward flexion, extension, side flexion. We're going to work through all rotations of the leg, parallel, uh, external, internal. So we're going to hit everything in one workout. It'll probably be just under 60 minutes. So stick with me, we'll do it together, and it should feel great in your body, okay? So today, we're gonna start with footwork, okay? So you wanna be, now normally if this wasn't so much of a, a basic kind of stretching type of routine, I would have it on a little heavier weight for footwork, but I've got it on two red and a blue spring, okay, to start. You're gonna come all the way down onto your reformer, supine position, so your head's gonna come between the shoulder blocks, you want to bring those shoulders right up against those shoulder blocks and your back is nice and flat on that carriage. You're going to bring your toes onto the foot bar. Now I have my foot bar in my neutral position, that first position. It's going to stay there throughout this workout, okay, so we're not going to move that foot bar around. Arms are long by your side and my feet are about four inches apart parallel. Now we're going to start in parallel in that parallel position for our footwork. I want you to focus on the base of your big toe and the base of your pinky toe, that fifth metatarsal. They're gonna be connected to the foot bar on both feet. Feet are four inches apart. Okay, find that connection point through the foot. And now you're gonna take a nice inhale breath and send that carriage all the way out. Hold it there. Now, you wanna focus on a neutral spine. That means that your tailbone is heavy, pressing into the carriage, and you've got a little space under your low back. So go ahead and find that position in your body. That's the natural curve of your spine. That's the position we want to hold. Both ASIS bones, those bony landmarks in your hips, are shining for the ceiling, okay? Arms are long and low by your side. From here, we're going to press up onto the balls of our feet so our heels are lifted. We're going to exhale as we bend both the knees. Okay, knees are gonna come just over those hips. Once they're aligned over those hips, we're gonna inhale, send it back out. Nice long legs, fully extend through the knee. And then exhale, let those heels drop under the foot bar. Inhale, press up back to the balls of your feet. Exhale, bend those knees, keeping them just over the hips. Inhale, send yourself all the way out. Exhale, drop those heels under the bar. That should feel like a great stretch through the back line of the leg. Inhale, press up onto the balls of the feet. Exhale, keeping those knees in so they come just off the hips. Inhale, send it out. Exhale, drop the heels. Good, pressing back up. Bring it in with control. Okay, so we're really, we're thinking about those sit bones at the center of the glute. They are shooting forward as we bend those knees. Inhale, press it out. Good, and then let those heels come under. Good, two more like this. Controlling that knee bend. That femur bone sinks into the hip once we get those knees over those hips. Last one. Let those femur bones sink down into that hip. Inhale, send it all the way back out. Now hold it right here, okay? From here, we're going to take our heels onto that foot bar. So, heels are going to come wide in external rotation. So, we're in a wide second stance. That means I have externally rotated my legs from parallel, where the toes are shining up, to external rotation. Okay, my toes are now at a 45 degree angle. Reminding you that that external rotation happened from the hip, though. Whole leg rotated. Now my toes are angled out, my heels, the center of my heels connected to the bar. Find that neutral spine position, neutral pelvis, okay? We're gonna exhale as we bend both knees, keeping those kneecaps aligning with big toe, second toe. Inhale, send it all the way back out. Exhale, bend those knees. Inhale, send it out. 
keeping that knee alignment, that kneecap should line up right between your big toe and your second toe. That's what we're looking for here. My feet are flexed. Good, sending that carriage all the way out. I'm fully extending through the knee joint. Holding that belly button up and in so I have that active and engaged core. Inhale for length, diaphragm drops, we get longer. Exhale as we fold it back in. Inhale out, exhale back in, four more. Inhale, reach it out. Good, exhale, bend those knees, keep it, keep those sits bones shining forward. Good. Good, last two. Good, last one. And hold it all the way out there. Okay, we're going to come into some single leg work. Now, we're going to bring those feet back to the center of the bar. Now, let's bring them into a closed par parallel position. You're on the balls of the feet. Let's swivel into external rotation. So now both legs swivel outbound. Okay, so now I'm in a Pilates first. My heels are touching, my toes are turned out. Okay, so that little V with your feet. From here, same thing, neutral spine. Now, I'm gonna take my right leg and I'm just gonna hover it over the foot bar. I'm holding that external rotation so my right inner thigh is shining towards the ceiling. From here, I'm gonna exhale as I bend my left knee, my knee traps between big toe, second toe, and then I inhale, extend it all the way back out. Exhale, bend, inhale, extend. Good, now on your next one, when you get to that long leg, you're gonna let that heel drop under the bar. Bring it back up to the ball of your foot and then bend that knee in. Good, keeping that knee alignment right between your big toe and your second toe. Adding that little reach of the heel under the foot bar. Good, inhale out, exhale, let that heel fold under. Good, working through that ankle. Good, four more on this side. Good, finding that connection right underneath the big toe, all the way underneath that pinky toe. Entire ball of the foot is connected. Last two. Last one. And hold it right here. Now, let's bring that leg all the way back out. Let's bring that right foot back, connect your heels, so you're in that Pilates first position. Now, let's keep that right foot on the bar, but let's hover that left leg just over the foot bar. Find that neutral spine, tailbone pressing down nice and heavy, belly button up and in between those shoulder blades. Exhale as you bend that left knee. Inhale, send it long, and then fold that heel under. Press it back up. Exhale, bend that left, that right knee, sorry. Inhale, take it out and then let that heel fold under. Good. Holding that external rotation on that left leg. That inner thigh is still shining a little bit more towards the ceiling rather than the midline. Getting a nice stretch through the back of the leg. Always when I do footwork, I get a little cracking going on through the ankle and through the foot. I run a lot, so this kind of footwork is so excellent for me to really recover from that pounding on the soles of my feet. Good. Four more here. Last three. Should be a little shaky by now. Good. Last two. Controlling that bend. Good. Last one. And bringing it all the way in. So good, you guys. Okay, now we're going to go right into feet in straps, okay? But first we're going to change our springs. So come on up. We're going to take off one of the red springs, okay? So you've got a red and a blue on. Now you can also go a tiny bit heavier on this if you'd like. Um, but I've got one heavy spring and one medium spring. Actually, I should say one medium spring and one light spring. That's more. I have an a extra light spring on my reformer as well. You're going to bring your uh, feet into the long 
loose. Now, the way I like to do that, my feet are on that front platform. I'm going to push myself out, reach my right foot into the long loop, and then go ahead and then pick your left foot up and reach it into the left long loop. Okay, once you're there, you're going to bring your feet up towards the ceiling. Now, I want you to find that neutral spine again. So, that means that we're not going to let those straps pick up our tailbone like this. See how my tailbone is off the carriage. You want to bring your tailbone down, glue it to the carriage, okay? Now, that neutral spine is that tiny little curve in the low back. It's very small because I don't want my ribs to flare out. So you want to think about keeping those ribs together and closed. Belly button is up and in so my core is engaged and both hip bones are shining straight up to the ceiling. Now, what's very, you'll notice that my legs are not directly over my hips because what happens when my legs are directly over my hips is my tailbone starts to peel and I go into a posterior tilt where the pelvis tilts backwards. That's not what we want, okay? So you want to find that neutral pelvis. Okay, once you're there, those legs are glued together, they're in a closed parallel position. This is start. From here, we're going to hinge those legs down just above the foot bar. So we're going to inhale, lengthen those legs down, good 45 degree angle, and then we're going to exhale as we bring them back to start, neutral pelvis. Inhale, lengthen those legs down, exhale, fold at the seat crease to bring the legs back, keeping that neutral pelvis tailbone down. Inhale, lengthen, core is very engaged, keeping that neutral pelvis, the core helps work those legs. Good, inhale, lengthen, lots of control here, exhale, bring it back. Good, your arms are long and low by your side. Now, if you want to focus on the position of the pelvis, you can also bring your hands to those ASIS bones so you can feel that the pelvis stays in that neutral position. Inhale, bring it down two more. We're going to start to layer on here. Good, core is super tight. On the next one, you're going to hold that 45 degree angle. Now, from here, I'm going to open up my legs the width of the reformer, circle them up and around, and glue the inner thighs together. Lengthen down to a 45 degree angle, open up the width of the reformer, circle them around, keeping the neutral pelvis, don't let that change, and then bring it down to 45. So, you're working these leg circles in such a way that the pelvis remains completely quiet and still. Core is engaged, so you should feel those muscles working for you. Good. Two more in this direction. Good. Last one. Now, holding it at the top, instead of lowering first, we're going to open at the top in that start position, circle down and around and zip up at that 45 degree angle, bring it all the way back to start. Open at the top, circle down and around, zip up those inner thighs, bring it back to start. Good. Open down and around, circle. Good. Bring it back to start holding that tailbone glued to the carriage. We don't want that to change. Okay, good. You've got two more here. Bringing it back up to start. Opening, bringing it down and around, zipping up the inner thighs, bringing it back. Last one. And bringing it back to start. Holding it here now. We're going to lower those legs one more time to 45 degree angle. Hold it there. Now my legs are going to stay in this closed parallel position. We're going to bend the knees now. So exhale, bend both knees. This should feel shaky. Knees stop over the hips. You want to find that alignment of the femur bone sinking into the hip. Inhale, send it back out. Pelvis is still neutral and quiet. That is the constant throughout this whole series of leg and straps. You want to keep that tailbone down. 
Inhale, send it out. We're bending those knees in. They stop over the hips to get the femur bone down into that hip socket. Then from the back line of the leg, just underneath that glute, where the glute and the hamstring meet, we send those straps out. So I want you to focus your attention on that movement. Good, exhale, bend, sits bones broaden. Inhale, send the straps out, those sits bones narrow. Good, this should feel a little trembly. Focusing on that belly button up and in. You've got four more. Last three. Good, you've got two. Good, last one. We're gonna hold this one out, okay? So legs are at a 45 degree angle, my core is nice and tight. We're gonna swivel those legs into first position. So heels together, toes turned out, that little Pilates V, okay? From here, we're gonna do those hinges again. So we're gonna hinge those legs back up to a neutral position at start, and then we're gonna hinge them back down. Good, now we're getting into those inner thighs a little bit more. Finding that neutral spine, always, always, that we're holding that. Inhale down for length. Exhale, bring it back. Good. Now from here, we're going to come into those knee bends again, but this time we're going to keep this external rotation. Okay, so we're going to stay with those heels glued together. You've got three more of these hinges. Good, last two. Good, one more. Okay, now on your next one, let's bring it down to the 45 degree angle and hold it right there. Inner thighs, are, heels are glued together. Tailbone is heavy. Exhale, bend both knees. They still track with big toe, second toe. Stop them over the hip. They do not come to the chest like this. That lifted my tailbone, okay? We want to keep the knees so they're directly over the hip, tailbone down. Inhale from the back line of the leg. We send those legs out to a first position. Zip up your inner thigh. Exhale, bend those knees. Stop them over the hip. Inhale, zip up the inner thighs and send those heels forward. Good, exhale, bend. This is where it should feel a little shaky. Inhale, take it back out. Good, exhale, bend, knees stop over the hips. Good, if you've got a mirror, check yourself out in the mirror. Make sure you're finding that alignment. Sometimes it's hard to feel in your own body. Exhale. Good, after over time, you'll start to feel that spot where the core really engages and you'll know you'll have that right form. Good, four more. Good, last three. Last two. Good, on your next one, hold those knees bent. Those knees are bent, kneecap lining up, big, big toe, second toe, over the hip. We're right here now, from the glam line where the glute and the hamstring meet, right there, we're gonna send those heels out one inch and in one inch. Out, in, out, in. Should feel shaky, make sure your shins are parallel to the floor. My hip bones, they're neutral. My belly button is up and in. Good, tailbone is glued to the carriage. Good, sits bones broaden as I bend in. They narrow out. Good, holding those heels together. Don't let them separate. You're here for six, for five, for four, last three, last two, and last one. And bring it all the way in. Go ahead and take one long loop off. Hang it up behind you. Okay, go ahead and take that other one off. Slowly let that carriage come in, hang it up behind you. Now, we're gonna come into some uh, strata work, rear facing. So, you're gonna turn around. We're gonna take off the red spring. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's leave it on for this one. I'm thinking I want those straps to kind of bring you forward. So, 
red and blue spring still. Hold that spring count right there. We are going to straddle those shoulder blocks. So you want to bring yourself into a position where you've got a little bit like a hand space behind you on the carriage. You're sitting up nice and tall and my heels are hanging off the frame. Okay, so I've got my calves on the edges of the carriage, heels hanging off. From here, I'm going to reach forward and grab those short loops and we're going to pull ourselves in so you can get your hands right on either, either the metal hooks or on the ropes, okay? Wherever you feel like you're going to get a nice reach. Now, you want to pull on those ropes so that you're sitting up nice and straight, okay? Tailbone pointing straight down and right on the tips of my sitting bones. Crown of the head is reaching far away from the tailbone. Roll those shoulders down and back. Ribs are closed. Now from here, you're going to take a nice inhale to prepare. Exhale. Let those straps pull you forward, keeping the legs in parallel, toes shining up. You should feel a nice stretch through the back line of the leg. Holding it there, letting that carriage pull you down. You're letting those ropes pull you down for four. Last three. Last two. Inhale, bring it all the way back up. Find that nice straight spine. Good. From here, same thing. Exhale, let those ropes pull you forward. Forward fold. Good. Really finding that stretch in the back of the leg. Fight to keep those toes shining up, keeping those legs in parallel. Good. Holding it here for four. For three. Last two. Good. Inhale. Roll yourself all the way back up. Now, staying in this position, we're going to come into some spinal flexion. So you're going to roll that tailbone underneath you. Low back's going to roll. Good. Engaging and scooping the front belly. We're going to inhale all the way back up and take that forward fold. Just two times like this. Good. Really getting deeper with every exhale. Let those ropes pull you down for three. For two, good, coming all the way back up, let's curl the tailbone under, the low back, hold it there, scooping that belly button up and in, we're going to inhale, coming all the way up, exhale, forward fold all the way down, holding it for four, last three, last two, and bringing it all the way back up to start, go ahead and hang up your loops. Hang those up, and now we're going to change our springs. Okay, so we're going to take off the one red spring. You've got just a blue spring on a light spring, okay? Now, from here, we're going to come into some mermaid. So, I'm going to start facing you guys. That right leg is going to come, that right shin is going to come up against the shoulder blocks. Okay, so right shin up against those shoulder blocks, left leg is hooked in front, okay? Now, if this is highly uncomfortable for you, you can kind of change the positioning of your leg. You can lace that right leg in between the shoulder blocks. For me, that's really not comfortable, but depending on your body, that might be more comfortable for you. Left shin, or sorry, right shin up against the shoulder blocks. Now, from this position, we're not going to deal with those straps, not yet, not at all. Those, that left hand is going to come onto the foot bar. Okay, right arm is going to come up into, into the sky pointing directly out towards the ceiling, palm is facing in. I'm going to inhale as I press that foot bar away, right arm reaches over that right ear, finding that, that reach up the right waist, or up the right side body. Good, stretching through that left shoulder, and then coming all the way back to start. Right hand comes to the headrest, left hand comes up and over, finding a nice side bend through that left side, now reaching up out of that hip, that feels really good. Good, coming all the way back to start, left hand to the foot bar, right arm up and overhead, finding that side flexion, that reach, reaching up out of that right hip, coming all the way back to start, right hand to the headrest, left arm up and over, that bicep lines up with my left ear, coming back last time, right arm up and overhead, sending that foot bar away, lengthening out of that hip. Good, coming all the way back to start, right hand to the headrest, left arm up and overhead, and bring it all the way back. Now, we're going to turn and face the foot bar, both hands are going to come to the foot bar, okay, so I've got the heels of my hand now on that foot bar, and I'm angled towards the foot bar now. From here, 
We're going to exhale to prepare. Inhale, press that foot bar away. Look down at the springs. Lengthen out so your ears line up with those biceps. And get that nice big stretch all the way through the right waistline. Good. Holding it here. Good. Inhale, bring yourself all the way back up. Exhale again. Inhale, lengthen away. Press that foot bar away. Keep both hands connected. Looking down at the springs. And bring it all the way back in. Okay, now we're going to come into a crisscross applesauce position. Okay, so legs are crossed in front of you. You're going to reach down and grab that short loop that's in front. Okay, short loop. Now, both hands are going to come to that loop. I've got my right hand inside the loop, thumb outside, the rest of the fingers in. Okay, my other hand is going to grab the outside. I'm just going to interlace those fingers. So, my hands are at center right now. I'm going to allow that rope to pull me. So, now my torso is rotating to the right. Okay, I'm sitting up nice and tall on those sits bones. I have no arc in my low back. My belly button is pulled up and in from here. We're going to exhale as we pull that left arm back. Right arm comes forward. We rotate through the rib basket. Exhale, bring it back to start. Let that rope drag the carriage away. Good, and then bring it all the way back through. Right arm extends in front of the body as I rotate to the left. Exhale, back to center, rotating to the right. Wrapping it all the way to the left, rotating at the rib basket. Now, I like this position of being in this crisscross applesauce because it allows me to focus on the rotation from the waistline rather than allowing that pelvis to move. Now, if you're on your knee, you can do this on your knees. That's much more challenging just because you have to maintain a quiet pelvis. And you can also, the great thing about that though is you can work on that low belly connection through the inner thigh. So this one is a little bit simpler just because you do not need to worry about that pelvis rotating as much. Good, last one. Rotating to the right. And then go ahead and bring it all the way through to the left and then come all the way back to center. Okay, hang up that loop. And now, let's see what's next. We're gonna come into some lunging. So we're just gonna start with that right leg. So, stay on that one loose spring. We're gonna stay there for the rest of this session. Your right foot is gonna be on the floor. Your left foot is gonna come up against that shoulder block. Okay, now, we're gonna keep our knee down so we can focus on opening up that left hip. Okay, so hands come to the foot bar. Okay, so I've got that angled torso slightly forward. We're gonna exhale as we bend the right knee into a lunge. My left knee stays on the carriage. I send the carriage back. I wanna find a position where that right knee is in front of my ankle and lining up with big toe, second toe. That is important for the health of that knee. Go ahead and send that carriage back, holding that position of the knee and try to get your left thigh down on the carriage. You're going to open up that left hip, fully opening up that seat crease right there. Good. That should feel really good, opening up the front of the body. Keeping your ribs closed, your belly button up and in. Okay, don't let that belly collapse. Good. Inhale, bring it all the way back up, keeping that knee down. Straighten out your right leg. Same thing, exhale, bend that right knee, find that knee alignment where that right knee is in front of the ankle. Good, hold it there, line it up, line that kneecap up with big toe, second toe. Get that left thigh onto the carriage and just really send that left thigh down. Good, holding it here for four, last three, last two. Good, bringing it all the way back up. We're going to keep the right leg straight now. So, left knee is going to stay down on the carriage, but my right leg is now going to stay straight. I'm not going to bend it. So, I'm going to reach back, letting that carriage or pressing that carriage back as my right leg stays straight. And you're going to reach as far down as you can, finding a nice stretch up through the back line of that right leg. Now, I feel a really good stretch on the front of my right ankle, keeping those toes down up through that calf, all the way up into the center of that right glute. For four, for three, the last two. Bring it all the way back up. We're going to go one more time. 
Finding that alignment in that position. Keep that right leg nice and straight. Send that carriage back. Good. We're still opening up that hip, but now that right leg stays nice and straight. Changing that stretch for four, for three, last two, and bring it all the way back up. Now we're going to turn and face the carriage and get into that inner line of the leg a little bit. So turning and facing the machine, my left foot, the side of my left foot is going to be up against that shoulder block. That foot is in parallel, that leg is in parallel, I should say. Now my right leg is externally rotated. So finding that parallel position, I'm going to externally rotate from the hips. So now my right toes are on the floor angled at a 45 degree angle. From here, staying tall, both legs are nice and straight. I'm going to exhale as I bend my right knee. Again, holding the alignment of the right knee in front of the ankle, tracking with big toe, second toe. I'm going to let the torso tilt forward a little bit and get into that right inner thigh. Good, and really open that up there. Hold that knee alignment on the right side, protect that knee. Good, you should feel the stretch through the inner line of that left leg. Good, you're here for four, for three, for two. Good, bring it all the way back up. Two straight legs, now same thing. Holding that alignment, you're gonna exhale, bend the right knee. I'm really not putting much weight into that left foot at all, not yet. And as we come down, we hold that right knee alignment and now I'm really working on opening up that left inner thigh. Good, torso is tilted forward, belly button is up and in for four, for three, for two, and inhale, bring it all the way back up. So, so good. All right, we're going to come into a bridge on this um, machine now. So you're going to lie down in that supine position again. We're still holding on that one blue spring. Lying all the way down on your back. Bring those shoulders up against those shoulder blocks. Your feet are going to come onto the foot bar again, four inches apart, parallel. Now, instead of bringing the balls of your feet or the heels on there, we're going to bring the heel pocket. So you want that part of your foot that just before you get to the heel, past the arch and right before you get to the heel. That's the part of the foot we want on that foot bar. Now, we're going to keep those legs about four inches apart. Parallel position means those toes shining straight up towards the ceiling. Find that neutral spine again. Press the tailbone down. Tiny little space underneath that low back. It is really not much at all. Hold that belly button up and in. Now, without letting the carriage move, we're going to bring our hips up. So you're going to exhale to prepare. Inhale. Bring those hips straight up to the ceiling. Try to keep that carriage from moving out. And then we're going to roll from behind the heart. We're going to start to roll the spine back down to the carriage. We're hinging those hips straight up. Find that lift. And then from behind the heart, we're going to roll the spine back down to the carriage. Tailbone becomes heavy again. Yeah, exhale. Shift those hips up. From behind the heart, roll the spine down onto the carriage. Connect the tailbone. Reset. Lift those hips. Try not to let the carriage move. Mind it on that one. Roll all the way down. So we're on a light spring. It's not so easy to keep the carriage home. So you'll definitely feel it through the hamstrings. Hinge. Roll from behind the heart like a string of pearls. We're rolling that spine down onto the carriage. Last one, we're going to hold up. So you're going to hinge those hips up. Hold. From here, we're going to extend both legs. Don't let those hips drop. And then you're going to exhale as you fold the knees back in. Touch those bumpers. Inhale, take the carriage all the way out. Don't let those hips drop. Open up the front of the body. Exhale, bend those knees back in. Staying in parallel. Inhale. Extend. Good. Keep those hips high. Exhale. Bend it all the way and kiss those bumpers. Last one. Exhale. Bring it all the way back. And slowly roll that spine back down to the carriage. So good, you guys. All right. We are going to do that whole thing on the other side, but we're going to start with mermaid. So I'm going to be facing away from you guys. This time, my left shin is going to be up against those shoulder blocks. 
my right foot is hooked in front of me. So find that comfortable position for you and your body. Okay, right hand, right heel of my hand is going to come to the foot bar. Make sure the heel of your hand is in front of the shoulder, just in front. We don't want it back here. We want it just in front of the shoulder, getting that shoulder in the right place. Okay, left arm is going to come up and overhead. We're going to inhale as we send that carriage away, reaching that left arm up and over the ear. Big stretch out of that left side body. And then as we come back up, we're going to bring that left hand to the headrest. Right arm reaches up and over. This stretch always feels so good in my body. Reaching up out of that right hip. Good. Coming all the way back to start. Heel of the hand in front of the shoulder. Lengthen and reach that left arm up and overhead. Good. All the way back up. Bringing that right arm up and over. Big stretch. And we're going to go one more time. Right heel of hand to the bar. Bring it up and over. Find that big stretch. And bring it all the way back up. Hand comes to the headrest. Last time reaching up and out of that right side. And bring it all the way back to start. Now, both hands are going to come onto that foot bar. So now we're angling towards the front. My hands are just off the shoulder. And from here, same thing. We're going to inhale. Send that foot bar away. Head comes between the arms. I'm looking at the springs. Biceps line up with the ears. Big stretch through the back. Up and out of that left hip. Good. Bring it all the way back in by bending those elbows. Just bringing that chest up. Exhale. Good. Send it all the way out. Find that nice long length. Full extension of the arms. Good. Inhale back in, lifting up the chest. Good. One more time. Send it all the way back out. Holding it there for four, for three, last two, and bring it all the way back in. Okay, we're going to come into that crisscross applesauce position. So legs are crossed in front of you. Go ahead and reach down and grab that short loop that's closest to the uh, left side of the machine. So the, the one most close to the frame. You're going to bring your left hand into that short loop, and right hand is going to come on the outside of that short loop. Okay, I'm sitting up nice and tall on those sitting bones. We're going to work on that rotation happening from the waistline. So from here, I'm going to let that rope rotate me to the left, and on my exhale, I'm going to rotate through center and inhale all the way to the right. Exhale through center, pulling that belly button up and in. Let that rope twist you to the left. And then rolling those shoulder blades down and around the ribs and rotating to the right. Bringing it all the way back through center. Good. Really focus on the rotation of that rib basket. Okay, so you're rotating from the waistline. Good. Keeping those shoulders away from your ears. Staying nice and tall. Try not to lean back. You want to keep your sternum over your pubic bone. That alignment is going to keep that core active. Good. Two more just like this. Good. Last one. And bring it all the way back to center. Okay, go ahead and hang up that loop. We're going to work on that lunging now. Making sure I'm not forgetting anything. Yep, okay. We're going to lunge on that left leg now. So left foot down on the floor. Right foot up against that shoulder block. Now, my right knee is going to stay down on the carriage for this one. Hands come to the foot bar. We're going to exhale as so we bend that left knee, finding the alignment of the left knee in front of the ankle. Track it with big toe, second toe and go ahead and send that carriage back. We're going to reach that right thigh down onto the carriage so we can open up the front of the hip. Okay, now, this is much more of a stretching routine, right? So this can be done much differently where we don't hold it, we're on the heavier springs. Um, it's a lot more work through the glute, through that quad. Good, bringing it all the way back up, keeping that knee down, find a straight left leg. And then go ahead and exhale, bend that left knee, send that carriage out, hold that alignment of that left knee. 
Reach the right quad down onto the carriage. Open up the front right hip. Good. For three. For two. Good. Bringing it all the way back up. Now, we're going to keep that left leg nice and straight. We're going to do the same thing. Reach that carriage back. Left leg stays straight. Now, now I'm not locking into that left knee joint, okay? I'm keeping that leg straight, but that knee is active, okay? That means it's soft. You're going to go ahead and reach as far back as you can, getting a stretch through the back line of that leg. You should feel a stretch all the way up into the center of that left glute. Good. Bringing it all the way back in. That left knee is soft. Good. And then we're going to send it back out. Left leg stays nice and straight again. Good. Use your exhale breath to get a little deeper. Make sure you're not locking and just like letting that joint hang out on that left knee. You want to be active there. And you're here for four, for three, for two. Good. Bring it all the way back in. And now we're going to turn and face the reformer. Okay, right foot is going to come up against that shoulder block. I've got the outer line of my right foot up against that shoulder block. My right leg's parallel. My left leg, which is on the ground, is an external rotation. So the toes are angled at a 45 degree angle. We're going to hold that right there. Both legs are nice and straight. From here, you're going to bend that left knee. Exhale. Keep that alignment of the left knee in front of the ankle. Track it with big toe, second toe. That is important. And make adjustments as need be. You're going to open and focus on that stretch through the inner line of that right leg. Good. For four. For three. For two. Inhale. Bring it all the way back up to a straight left leg. We're going to go one more time on this side. So you're going to lengthen all the way down. Bend that left knee. Find that beautiful alignment. Right inner thigh stretches. Good. Holding it for four. For three. For two. And bringing it all the way back up to a straight left leg. Okay. We've got some more supine work in those legs and straps, but much more stretching than focusing on that neutral pelvis. Um, and then we're going to be all done. Okay, so come all the way down on your back. We're going to keep that one blue spring. You're going to scoot yourself up against those shoulder blocks. Reach back. Press away from that platform with your feet. Reach back, grab your long loops. Right foot into the long loop. Left foot into the long loop. Okay, once you're there, lengthen those legs all the way out above the hips. Now, remember, we want to work with a neutral spine. So find that in your body. For me, that does not mean my legs are here. That means my legs are more here. So my tailbone is down, okay? Belly button is up and in from here. You're going to bring the soles of your feet together, and I'm going to reach up and grab my short loops. The inner short loops. Okay, from here, I'm going to bend those knees and pull those heels. I'm pulling the short loops and I'm pulling my heels close to my pelvis. I'm in a butterfly stretch. Okay, now, in this position, you might want to wiggle around to find that neutral pelvis again, but really actively pull on those straps to get the heels as close to the pelvis as possible. Good. Holding this butterfly stretch, we're going to open up the hips next. So keep really pulling on those straps. Keep those feet in for four. Good. For three. For two. Good. Go ahead and release the short loops. And now you're going to let those feet come down into the springs, into that area of the springs. So I'm opening the front of the hips. Just let those straps go across the inner thigh. Let those hips fully open up. Now, I don't want you to let your ribs flare like this. Okay, you want to keep the core active. So draw those ribs close like a book. Pull that belly button up and into the spine and keep that pelvis neutral. You're here for four. Good. Last three. Focusing on the hips. Opening up the hips. Last two. Good. We're going to bring those feet back up now. Grabbing onto the short loops one more time. I'm going to hold my left short loop in. And I'm going to let that right leg extend out to the side. So my right foot is flexed. That leg is in external rotation, so the inner thigh is shining up towards the ceiling. And I'm finding that real deep bow and arrow type of stretch. Good. You can completely let go of your straps if you'd rather not have them. But I like holding on to them for a little bit of stability through this stretch. 
Good. Not letting that low back press. You're here for four, for three, last two. Good. Fold that right leg back in. I'm going to keep that right leg in now. Heel is close to the pelvis. And I'm going to open up that left leg. Left foot is flexed. Inner thigh shining towards the ceiling. And hold that stretch. This feels really good in my body at least. <laughs> Inner thighs are stretching real good on that left leg. I'm not letting my body roll. Okay, so I'm keeping that right hip down. You're here for four. Last three. Good, last two. Good, folding it all the way back in. Take those legs all the way back up. Let's take those long loops off. So you're going to hang them up. One hangs up. Good, reach back, hang up the other one. And now we're going to sit all the way up and come off to the side of the carriage. We're going to stay seated on the carriage. My feet are hanging off now. We're going to bring that right ankle on top of the left thigh. And now we're going to come into a figure four stretch. So starting nice and tall on the tips of those sitting bones, we're going to reach and roll down as I use my right elbow or my right palm to press that knee slightly, just a little, softly, uh, sending that right knee towards the floor as I round down over my leg, getting a nice stretch through that right glute and that right uh, hip. Good. Every exhale, let yourself round down a little further. Good. For four. For three. Try to let all the tension in your body go. Last two. Good. Roll yourself all the way back up. Let's switch legs. Right foot comes to the floor. Left ankle comes on top of that right thigh. Left palm on the inner line of that left knee, and I'm gently going to send that knee towards the floor as I round down over that bent leg, rounding through center. Good, much tighter on my left side than on my right. Use your exhale breath to take you down. Now while you're stretching, a lot of these stretches I know they don't always feel so good, I want you to think about releasing the tension, letting your body go. Use your breath for four. Good. Last three. Last two. Good. Rounding all the way back up. Both feet to the floor. We're going to stand up, but stay down hanging over your legs so your knees are soft. My fingertips are hanging down towards the ground, letting my head, neck, and shoulders just relax, letting my body melt towards the floor. My knees stay softly bent, just with a little baby bend there. On your next inhale breath, you're going to roll and stack that spine like building blocks one at a time. Your head and shoulders are the last thing to roll up. Big breath, arms up and overhead. Exhale, bring them back down to your side and you are all set. So that was a nice basic routine on the reformer. If you're brand new to the reformer, this is a really good way to start. Kind of get yourself familiar with the movement on the machine and the stretching and the, the, the way the machine can aid in that stretching. So again, I will have lots more reformer videos coming at you, uh, a lot more creative moves, uh, a lot more strengthening uh, and cardio, cardiovascular, building that heart rate a little bit. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you feel good and I'll see you next time.